Week number three, Pastor's Blog. As you can see, we're in the middle of creative team meeting. I know a lot of you are wondering where we uh, come up with our message ideas, set designs. This is it right here. It's at the ping pong table. And you know what's amazing is, this is the way a lot of us live our life. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There's really no change, there's no difference, there's no passion, there's no excitement, there's no forehand. It's just the same backhand hit over and over in our marriage, in our prayer life, in our quiet time. And sometimes it's important for us to realize we got to be creative. Because we serve the most creative God and the only true God in the universe. But is this you? Does this sound like your everyday? Get up, go to work, go eat, get up, go to work, go eat, get up, go to work, spank my kids. If this is your life, you need to change. Oh, sorry, Zane. You need to experience something other than the back and forth average. And uh, that's not only true for your life, it's also true for the church experience and what we call organizational bodies of believers, fellowships like Brand New Church. Because we desire not to be the same Sunday after Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, the same thing, back and forth and back and forth. We don't want people to walk in at let's say 9.45 every Sunday and we're at the exact same place we were last week at 9.45. We want to be creative, we want to be innovative because we serve a creative, innovative God. So dealing with your marriage this week, dealing with your vocation, dealing with how you raise your kids, is it going to sound the same? I mean, just like we've been doing here, is it just going to be the same thing back and forth? Or are you going to try something creative and fresh and exciting and some exhilaration, something that gives God incredible glory? Maybe even every once in a while I'll play it off the net because I know God's desire for me as a pastor. And those of you that are watching, uh, pastors all over the country, and I want to thank so much those of you in Oregon that emailed us this last week that is learning something from a two-lane highway church. Be creative. Be innovative. And if you're always asking, is he or she going to like that, you're bound by them. Ask God if he would be pleased with it. Go for it. Not only in your church leadership, but in your marriage, in your job, with your resources. Um, we got a lot of great things going on at Brand New Church. Of course, we're standing in here in the student room that we've destroyed. Uh, that's what happens after they're in here and after we play ping pong in here. But I want you to be honest and real and ask God how he would have you to honor him with the most glory. Also, I want to encourage you this week, go to the 10 series, click on media, current message series, click on and check out what's taking place. God is doing some awesome stuff here at Brand New Church through the 10 series. We just finished God's name in vain. We called it Don't Shame the Name. Check it out. Check out the word comfortable on there. And then also go to our blog and just let us know what you're learning. I know some of you asked about last week's blog or whatever. Get on there, blog us, ask us questions, and we'll look forward to seeing you again right here at the Pastor's Video Blog next week. How's it looking, man? Awesome.